it's passion fruit season again and our passion fruit vines are filled with lots of flowers and new fruiting buds and also a lot of fruits so today i'm going to harvest a couple of these passion fruits and we are going to taste them so i'm going to show you what it looks like from the inside and also tell you how it tastes so these are beautiful plants that you can easily grow in your garden so keep watching this video to know more about this beautiful plant and this wonderful fruit hi everyone and welcome to fresh from my garden so these are some of the passion fruit plants that are planted along the fence and most of them have started fruiting so we have at least five to six plants in our garden and we are we have planted them on both sides of our garden and this is one vine that has climbed up our pomegranate tree and you can see the fruits that are growing on top of the pomegranate tree so this is a very invasive plant and it needs a lot of space where it can climb on to a trellis or a wall so that it can grow and spread out its foliage and grow these beautiful flowers and nutritious fruits we have some of these plants that are planted in 25 liter buckets and some that are planted in the ground and they take about a couple of years for it to start flowering and producing fruits so between 18 to 24 months is the time when these plants grow very well spread out a lot of foliage and then they start flowering and producing a lot of fruits and when these fruits are ready they fall off the vine and we don't really have to pick them so these are a couple of the fruits that have fallen off the vine and it might look a little crumpled and not very beautiful it looks a little ugly and crumpled and but these are the fruits that really taste very nice the more the fruit sits on the vine and it falls by itself that is the time when the fruits are really sweet and tasty so there are two varieties of passiflora or passion fruit that are growing in our garden one is the yellow and the other is the pink variety that i'm opening here so once you open you can see that there is some pulp along with seeds and these seeds and the pulp are edible so you can you don't have to discard the seeds they can be eaten as is so scoop out uh, using a spoon scoop out the pulp along with the seeds making sure not to take any of the white part that is inside so they easily fall off as you use a spoon you can easily scoop it out and then there is this white skin that you can use in your composting bin and these fruits are slightly tart and slightly sweet so the yellow variety that we have is mostly tart and the pink variety has a slightly tart and slightly sweet taste so if you find it too tart to your liking you can add a sprinkle of sugar or a drizzle of honey on it and have it but we usually just directly scoop it out and eat it so today i'm going to show my husband tasting this and we all love passion fruits they are rich in vitamin c and a lot of nutrients and you can have them at least five to six fruits in a day and once the passion fruit season begins you can see that the vines are filled with lots of fruits and we had these plants initially outside our front porch and every morning when we would open the door we would see at least two to three fruits on the ground 
so this is a view of our passion fruit wine and today my husband is going to taste this and let's see how he likes it so we can have this along with the seeds and the pulp and it's very juicy and it's very delicious and it's also very healthy for you yes. so you can see here that he is having the entire bowl he's really enjoying it and we all enjoy growing this beautiful fruit at home so this is a really rich nutritious and delicious fruit that can grow well in tropical climatic conditions so i also have another video which shares the care tips of passion fruit plants please do watch that video to know more about how to grow this plant in your garden don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more gardening related videos thanks for watching fresh from my garden